I would like to introduce to you to the stage Arnulfo de la Cruz. He is the executive vice president of SEIU Local 2015. Oh, yeah. A statewide local for home care workers. Oh, yeah. Under his leadership, home care workers have played a central role in campaigning for better wages for low wage workers here in San Francisco. As director of SEIU's Immigrant Justice Campaign, he has led members of SEIU in fighting for immigration reform that secures labor and civil rights protections for workers and provides a pathway to citizenship. Yeah. He launched Mi Familia, Bota, California, Go California, the Latino community and its allies to promote social and economic justice through increased civil participation, civic participation. It is my pleasure to present him the Labor Man of the Year Award. And I'll, like Nancy said earlier, unfortunately, it hasn't been delivered, but it will definitely be coming your way. But I do have some very important congressional certificates to give you in recognition. So we'll go over one by one. From the United States Congress. to present you a certificate of special congressional recognition presented to Arnulfo de la Cruz, Justice Women Wage Coalition, Labor Man of the Year, in recognition of outstanding and invaluable service to the community, July 20th, 2018, from Nancy Pelosi. We also have U.S. House of Representatives. Wow. Certificate of recognition presented to Anufa de la Cruz. Congratulations, congratulations on being recognized as the 2018 Labor Man of the Year. During a, a time of record levels of income inequality in American and skyrocketing cost of living in the Bay Area, your work at SEIU Local 2015 is needed more than ever and you are literally throwing lifelines to tens of thousands of workers. I commend you for your tireless dedication to help others in your fight for justice. Coming from Congresswoman Jackie Spear, July 24th. Thank you. Thank you. And now we got a few from the California legislature. Certificate of Recognition, Arnulfo de la Cruz, recognizing Arnulfo, the Executive Vice President of SEIU Local 2015 on occasion of receiving the Labor Man of the Year Award from the San Francisco Little Wage Coalition and the 8th Annual Awards Dinner. Your leadership in the fight for justice, civil rights, and immigrant worker rights is commendable. Congratulations on this notable occasion coming from Philip Ting, Assembly Member of 19th District. We got one more coming from the California legislature. The certificate is presented to Arnulfo de la Cruz in recognition of your Labor Man of the Year Award, San Francisco Minimum Wage Coalition. The California legislature applauds your leadership as the executive vice president of the SIU Local 2015, your dedication to working towards comprehensive immigration reform, and your commitment to providing long-term uh, long care workers and their families and their communities. This is coming from David Chu, assembly member, 1770, 17th Assembly District. And now the man himself, Arnulfo de la Cruz, for a few words, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, it's a real honor to be here with you all and I wanna uh, thank 
the San Francisco Living Wage Coalition for this honor. I'm really bad at accepting honors. I'm not one of the people who believes in the one man theory of change or one woman theory of change. I think the only way that change has ever happened in this country is when we all come together and say we're gonna change something. So I wanna also congratulate La Senora Juana on this recognition and her years of leadership in San Francisco. Uh, I wanna recognize my wife, Rosario, who's from San Francisco. Uh, and then both of my children, uh, Emiliano and Annalisa, who were both born in San Francisco. Um, and I, I just wanted, and, and I want to thank Carl and David and Ann and John, and I want to recognize a member of the San Francisco Li Living Wage Coalition who is also a tremendous leader of SEIU 2015, Mr. Bradley. Yeah. Um, and I, you know, SEIU 2015, we represent about 380,000 long-term care workers across the state of California. We have members that work in 39 counties. Every Monday morning, the leaders of our union get on a call, and the, the call is translated into eight different languages. We are a reflection of California. Unfortunately, for too long, home care in particular, like domestic work, historically has been considered not a real job. This was uh, the effort of primarily black and immigrant women in the South years and years ago that had made a decision to come together and build a union of caregivers. And I have to tell you, I've been with SEIU quite a while on immigrant rights, on uh, voting rights. Working with caregivers is one of the most amazing experiences I've ever been a part of. Some of us have trouble taking care of ourselves, making sure that our bodies and minds are healthy. Can you imagine if every day you didn't just have to take care of yourself, you also have to take care of others, mm -hmm. on top of your family members? I'd like to ask the caregivers of SEIU 2015 to please stand up and be recognized. You all are, are my inspiration. If a, if a group of caregivers can make a decision to fight for a better California, then I think we can all do that with you all. And this honor, these awards, these accolades, are heading straight to the San Francisco office here in San Francisco, and it's because of the work that you all do. And the last thing I just wanna say, you know, the impact in San Francisco, the work that Carl and the San Francisco Living Coalition has done, there's other places in California where there's living wage coalitions, but they made a decision not to include home care workers because home care workers are in the thousands. In Los Angeles County, we have 180,000 members just in one county. So if they say, if we give those 180,000 people a $2 wage increase, that's millions and millions of dollars, and the county says, you know what, Arnulfo, I'm sorry, we can't do that. In San Francisco, each of you have made a decision to honor the value of home care providers and say, this is real work. It's an incredibly tough job. Our fight is for you, and we're gonna move forward together. And it's because of that decision that home care workers are now have the potential to be the highest paid home care providers in the country. And, and the, the last thing I wanted to say is about change. We're not too far away from the November elections. We're gonna have an opportunity to change the direction, the leadership of this country. Mm. What each of you have been able to do in San Francisco gives so much hope to people who don't live in San Francisco. I was with the members in Oakland a week ago. They're in negotiations with the Alameda Board of Supervisors and the Oakland members go up to the board and say, did you hear what they're doing in San Francisco? The minimum wage in San Francisco is 15. Why can't we get a living wage in Alameda? Why do we have to go across the bridge to look for work? Last month, I was in Fresno. How many of you love going to Fresno? <laughs> Francisco, rather, okay. I, I get nostalgic, because I love the smells of the cow, right? Um, and my family's from Fresno. In Fresno, the Board of Supervisors will tell you straight to your face, Arnulfo, we don't believe that home care workers should make more than minimum wage. It's not like the Bay Area where elected officials are open to listening to the value of the work. They'll tell you straight to your face that they're not gonna vote for you. And in, what would you do in that situation? What would you all do in San Francisco in that situation? I think what Carl said is that they haven't lost a campaigner because you never give up. 
So in Francisco reminds us that we have to organize. We're going to have to kick some people out on election day yeah. who don't stand with yeah. workers, right? Yeah. And then in a similar fashion, when it came time to talk to the governor of the state of California, that it was time to raise the minimum wage floor to $15 an hour, who do we talk about as an example? The city of San Francisco. When it came time to tell the city of New York that they also need to move to 15, and you know how New York City is, they're really competitive with San Francisco. They never want to let you guys get one over on them. So the point I'm making is that the work that you do here has a presence far beyond San Francisco County. You inspire others that you may never meet. But I hope to share some of those stories that I just shared tonight, is that your inspiration, the hope that you give people, is not just across California, across the Central Valley, but it's allowing us to make changes across the country. And that's because of the work that each of you do as part of the San Francisco Living Wage Coalition. Thank you for ha having me. Thank you for this recognition. Si se puede.